Hello again everyone, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4 Honduras. And when we last left off, World War II kicked off. It is the German-French War, and we are on the side of the Allies. And as you can see, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, the Benelux is uh, about to fold, as well as France. Everyone else is sort of okay, British, Malaya, Yugoslavia, a little bit. Italy, kind of, and Siam is uh, getting pushed in just a bit, but no one has moved to on the German Reich, and Europe is in flames, as uh, you can see over here. So hopefully, the United Kingdom will be able to, um, oh man, they, they, they pushed, got pushed back all the way to the, to the beach. Oh, they're making a push. They're making a push into Germany. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, basically, we joined the Allies, so no one decided to uh, to hop against this, even though we're also guaranteed by the Communist States of America, which is all well and good. So, what were we doing at the end of the last episode? We were training our... Nice, everyone is all trained up. Recover. So, we're getting some more brigades in the field, and we have 2.6 thousand men uh, that we can deploy again. So we might set up another um, another unit here. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll have... Okay, so we have full manpower there and only one-third of the manpower needed there. But we have one division in uh, basic training. And they're 46% of the way done. That is pretty good. Uh, looking at our... Research, we were researching the Close Air Support 1, the Interwar Artillery, and the Regimental Combat Teams. Looking at our focus, we were doing Interventionism, which gives us political power, which, you know, we're... Whatever that is. Um, volunteer Corps, yeah, whatever. Foreign Expeditions, yeah, whatever. Uh, why We Fight? Um, national Spirit, Civilian War Support would be pretty good. Trotsky Survives Assassination, interesting. Um, technology sharing would be really good if we can make our way down. Um, so we could spend some time going down this to get another research slot. Seems like a good deal. Uh, mechanization. We can do some motorized and some armor. And, uh, Siam has capitulated. Good job. One branch of that war is now out. So good job, Siam. They just need to get Manchukuo, Menkukuo, and Japan to surrender. Good job. <laughs> so, yeah, it's um, it's an uphill battle for the Allies, for sure, but we are keeping an eye on El Salvador, who has 35 divisions right across the street from us. Not entirely good. Let's go volunteer corps, start working our way down, and see if we can get that research slot opened up. Uh, that would be ideal, for sure. We have some decisions we can take. Uh, press censorship increases democracy support. And looking, we're at 100% democracy. We don't need to do that in any way. Uh, land, we can get, lose a little bit of su war support and stability for an extra building slot. So let's do that. Land appropriation, we'll gain a building slot. And for our construction effort, let's make another military factory and get that right to the top of the queue. So we'll build another military factory ready to give us the um, close air support. And as a matter of fact, what I'll do, I don't think we can get the manpower in so quick here. So we'll cancel um, that bottom division there, get that manpower back so we can continue to put out airplanes. We put in an order for 50 airplanes here. Looking at our storeroom, uh, we only need 18 more. And looking at our production line, we make three a month. So not bad. We are also working on our upgrades, getting uh, military weapons three or infantry weapons three on the board. We just need 1,800 of those and we make 12 per day with increase in industrial efficiency uh, plenty there. We have plenty of artillery, plenty of motorized and plenty of support equipment in stock. So we're just working on getting our aircraft and our infantry equipment up. Um, more planes taking off, outstanding. And it's interesting having a 1,000 airplane capacity. Looking at the, uh, the air group here, this is the Central American node, it looks like. And, uh, hey, we've got some active fighters. 
or are they training so they're not doing missions? That could be. We do have them on uh, gaining some training and looking at our air groups, how skilled are they? Almost there. Yeah, so they're almost fully trained up doing pilot exercises. Once they're uh, on level three, we might be able to do some actual missions. All right, so instead of doing pilot exercises, just do air superiority during the day and do normal operations, please. All right, Central American. Yeah, we're doing, now we're doing missions. Now we've got some air superiority going. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, 33 active fighters. Complete 100% air superiority. It doesn't really take much <laughs> as uh, El Salvador doesn't have an air force. And I don't believe Costa Rica has an air force. Yeah, they have no planes. Panama has no planes. So our 33 planes are holding it down making sure that we have air superiority, which would be good if El Salvador does decide to attack. I'm not saying that uh, that we would survive for long, but it's nice to have some aircraft uh, ready to go. And then once we get the, um, the close air support research, we'll wait until we have a factory open, or do we pull off one of the lines? No, I'm not pulling off an infantry equipment line. We could probably pull one of the support equipment lines off and start making close air support and then put in an order for like 50 planes of close air support that shouldn't be too awful bad all right interwar artillery about done and there we go artillery good so we can do improved artillery in 61 days um i don't know if that goes for our support artillery or not is there anything else we can do it is 1940 we have our construction up, our industry up, and our machine tools up. Uh, we have our computer up. I haven't worked on encryption, decryption. Looking at inventory. So that's 42. The mechanized one is 40. But we don't have any slots for mechanized. These guys are 42. Armor is 18. Artillery is 39. We could swap out for some better artillery. Oh, we do have a reduction in... All right, so fighter detection, fighter detection and experience, and interception. So we don't worry about tactical bombers. Bombing enemy factories. Yeah, close air support. This is will be the one we want. So let's do some formation flying. Formation flying in 80 days. Seems legit. All right, our recruits are still green, but at 77% going to deploy in Honduras. That is fine. We'll attach them to the big group. And that friendly air superiority actually makes our field marshal feel like this is a really good plan. Which is pretty good. I, I like the thought. Some token aircraft never hurts. And uh, as those aircraft do trickle in, you know, the majority are trained, but it wouldn't hurt to continue to do exercises. Oh, Switzerland is gone. So looking at Europe, yeah, France is about pushed in all the way. The German Reich extends out to the Soviet Union. Yeah, it's sort of a pincher here in France. They're, they're going to get surrounded pretty quick between the Italians and the Germans. That is not a good position to be in. And it's just the French over here. I don't see any. I mean, I see a lot of Navy from the United Kingdom. There is a token, probably volunteer, the 8th African Rifles. Yeah, when you ask old United Kingdom, hey, Churchill, what are you sending? We're sending the 8th African Rifles. That's uh, how much confidence we have in you. Yeah, it's just France down here trying to hold hold the line. There's the 60th Infantry Division getting absolutely stomped. 
I mean, they're trying to make a beachhead in the Netherlands. They're trying to fill in that hole as much as they can. I mean, Switzerland's there. The Netherlands are there. If they can catch a few of these German troops with low uh, organization, they may be able to make a push. All right, that's close air support one done. Close air support two would be 110 days away. Is there something better we can spin that on? Let's get the improved arty in 60 days. We'll go ahead and swap that out. And then what we'll do is, since we do have a whole lot of extra support equipment uh, coming in, we'll pull one line off, and we will make an, a line of close air support. Get that towards the top. And then we want to, uh, to request 50 close air support coming in. There are no airplanes in reserve. Well, get on it, please. Yeah, go ahead and start making that close air support. We make 1.2 planes a month. So as soon as we get the first one in stock, we'll start putting in an order for 50 close air support here at the airfield, and everybody else will just sort of uh, funnel in. And then what we'll do is we will swap. Well, I mean, there's no need to swap. They're getting everything uh, aluminum-wise uh, that they need to make the planes anyway. So... Moving that up in the queue won't matter too awful much. All right, guys, get that close air support taken care of, if you please. Are we up to 50 airplanes, 38? The United Kingdom is justifying against us. We're the allies, Winston. Why in the world do you want to invade us? Do you feel we're not doing our part? Do you feel that we're not contributing to the Alliance with our six divisions? I mean, for crying out loud there, Winston, you got guys all the way out here in the North Atlantic and the Med. What are you doing? You marching on Italy? I mean, you've got staging ground right here. Tell you what. If the United Kingdom breaks the alliance and then invades us, that would be this run in a nutshell, I would say. All right, how is our recruitment? Nice. One more percent and the 6th Infantry Brigade will come into the field. There they are. Ready to go. All right, unassigned divisions. You're now in that army. Welcome. Congratulations. Get to training. All right, we'll get them built up to level three as soon as we can. I know we're at low manpower, but that's fine. A few pilots coming in every now and then. All right, volunteer corps done. Let's go for an expedition. And we're just going to make a beeline down to that research, uh, that extra research block. All right, so if anything, we can improve our stability. That would be fine. War bonds runs for 57 more days. I mean, war support is okay, but we've got 75% war support. We just don't have the stability. Which the promise of peace would be fine, but we need to be at less than 5% war support, so... That's not going to do us any good. All right, 43 days until our combat teams. France has officially folded under. So that is now part of the German Reich. Looks like Germany is moving into Yugoslavia right now. And they are non-aligned. It would probably be only a matter of time before they decided to like, join the Allies real quick. And say, hey, come save us. No, it's too late. They've already walked through us. Yeah. Um, government contested. What is this? With an upcoming election, people are beginning to question the capability of the current administration to pursue the ongoing war. Honduras has suffered greatly. No, we haven't. We have increased our production, solidified our military, and actually built an air force. What are you talking about? We've suffered. 
All right, so political power stability decrease. Let the political landscape, a shift to communism and fascism, but a, and also a, a gain in stability. I tell you what, we just need stability is all we need. I don't like it. We could afford to lose the political power. That's no, no question. Resistance target. Yeah, I mean, we could do democratic propaganda then. Fine. Let the people decide, and then we'll throw in the decision to institute press citizenship. There you go. So even though we got a little bit of fascism and a little bit of communism, we took the decision to go right into suppressing it. Because we are a member of the Allies, and that is where we are going to stay. Either that or they kicked us out of the Allies. No, we're still in the Allies. Good. Tell you what. It did gain our stability up to 48%, though. That's not bad. What am I talking about? It's terrible. All right, keep on training, boys. Do we have a close air support in our shop? Hey, we got two. Strikes. All right, demanding peace and bread. They have so far refused all attempts to negotiate. Some of the government have advocated a sharp military response, followed by swift execution of the ringleaders. That's not very democratic. All right, so this will blow over. Make a demonstration. I mean, we've got the political power to spend. Heroes on the production front, 80%. Yeah, we'll spend that political power. We've got political power to spend. We'll turn those, uh, the people into heroes. Why not? All right, let's put in an order for 50 close air support. Whoops. There we go. And then you guys, I want you to do pilot exercises, normal operation during the day. All right, so slowly and surely, we're going to start getting our close air support uh, on, the, on the field, taken off, and continue building up our air force, our lovely, lovely planes. What are we up to as far as building them to go? Two a month? That's okay. And in seven weeks, we'll have enough fighters. We'll actually have extra fighters. Outstanding. And, oh, nice. Research is going to be kicking off here in a second. 15, uh, two weeks until our, our improved artillery. We'll swap that line up. Formation flying in 18 days. 24 days for our regimental combat team. And we're almost to 1941. So yeah, feeling pretty good about that. What's So the United Kingdom looks to be beating their head, and it's not even the United Kingdom, it's the Netherlands. The Netherlands is beating their head trying to uh, to make landfall up here. I mean, we do have some nation Francaise. Yugoslavia, Switzerland, and Netherlands fighting around here. They just need to catch the German unorganized, but all of these divisions around here look to be very organized and probably dug in. Yeah, Luftwaffe overhead. The Quit India movement. Okay, that's fine. What is going on in the British Raj? Has that always been like that, I wonder? I didn't think it was so big. How's Japan? Oh, starting to move in on China just a bit in the grand scheme of the war effort. Yeah, 49% in favor of the aggressors. Yeah, a lot of countries are starting to fall, but then they got to go overseas. Can Canada, Australia, United Kingdom. They could probably move on Denmark if they wanted to. I mean, let's be fair. If they did a naval invasion on us, they could overrun us really quick. Air Force or no. 
Nice, so we have 50 planes, but four of it is actually the close air support and not the fighters. Yeah, four more fighters and 46 more. Nice. So there's the improved artillery, 1940. Yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll follow that up with another round of artillery improvement. And then production line. Let's get RD2. Um, we're still making, or we're still making, or, you know, upgrading infantry three. So I'm not going to put artillery above it. I want to give all of our, um, our steel to the weapons. All right. There's formation flying done. Another hundred percent for air support mission efficiency. We'll roll with that a hundred days. And then we'll have a uh, land doctrine in four days time. We'll see if we have any reductions of land doctrine or we can look at something else to research while we're at it. And then we are about one way, one year away from the real bombing of Pearl Harbor, but that was against the United States, not the communist states. So we'll see if uh, Japan starts feeling froggy and draws the communist states of America into the war. It'll be interesting indeed. All right, so we do not have a big boost, and that's 255 days. It's a year ahead of time for our support weapons and anti-tank. Do we do special forces? I don't think we do special forces. Yeah, still a year out from our other support. We could research token tanks. Nope, close air support too. Let's do that while we are uh, reinforcing our aircraft here. We're at 48 regular fighters and five close air supports. Training those guys up. Yeah, do your, do your pilot exercises during the day, please. By the time we get that 50th fighter plane, uh, we should be able to get those guys trained up to level 3 and then we'll get them back on patrol. On air superiority. Alright, how's our divisions? Almost trained up. Three quarters of the way to level 3. Yeah, and we don't have the manpower to uh, put out another division just yet. Yeah, we don't want to lower our base stability. We want to, to do things nice and quiet-like. We're lowering the daily change at zero, daily change at zero. Do we want to... Can we swap this guy out for a democratic reformer? Yeah, let's do that. Neron Melendez. Get that boosted up. So not only are we doing the press censorship, but then we're, we've got the democratic politician in there as well, sort of stamping this out. Heroes on the production front. Nice. Ba base stability five and the strike is over. Good deal. Getting that stability up. That's what I like to see. Yeah, I don't want to go down on our construction time. I want to make sure that we are constructing as good as we can. So in February, we'll have our last military factory up and then we'll continue to build our forts up. Sort of hunker down as best we can. We can put down anti-air. We might research... Radar, but I mean no one else even has planes flying against us, so I don't know if that would be a benefit or not There we go. All 50 fighters are now in a wing. We've got foreign expeditions done. Why we fight? Stability 10 war support 10 and Then once that is done we can grab our fourth research slot and That will work out well by the time we get to uh, say mid-1941 when all those 1942 texts open up we'll be able to really focus on them and hit them hard 
Yeah, down to seven and six. That's what I like to see. So we'll keep that Democratic reformer in there. We're keeping our construction guy in there. And slowly and surely getting our close air support built up. Yeah, we actually have two extra fighter planes in the in the hangar. Which is all well and good. Yeah, as long as we can uh, centralize our fighting in this area, if no one else has an air force, 50 planes should be enough to keep uh, just keep a token air superiority at bay. Now, if, say, the Germans bring, um, if they, or they move their, their fighters to El Salvador, and depending on how big this air base is, just bring, like, a thousand fighter planes, then we're, we're kind of screwed, but... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so nation Francais. Luxembourg, Switzerland, Netherlands, out. Yugoslavia actually holding on just a little bit. Dutch East Indies nearly halfway. Belgium only one quarter. And I think it's the one province that they're hanging on to that it's like the, uh, the, the meat grinder. They've got one little port that everyone just keeps flooding into and trying to push. And I mean, we we could make our way over there and just throw manpower willy-nilly at this line, but looking at the amount of German defenses, I am not feeling that that would be the correct strategy. I mean, if we could go in and say snipe Italy or some craziness, like, do, like, a, a landing from here to there in Sicily and just, like, march across and go, mine, 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 then Illy's out of the war? I mean, that would that'd be pretty funny, but I don't think realistic. We do have Weapons 3, but even with Weapons 3, seven divisions are not going to change the world. All right, guys, recover. Get yourself dug back in. Everyone is trained up as a regular. And we can get ourselves re-entrenched. So we need 70 more towed artillery and 400 more infantry equipment. Right now we are making on the line 17 weapons per day. So that will go away fairly quickly. We're making 5 artillery a week. So about 10 weeks or 2.5 months we'll have the new artillery out for our guys too so always getting better at least trying yeah I know we're at low manpower but we're holding steady the Air Force is slowly and surely uh, taking some of our manpower away but we're up to 11 close air support fighters out of 50 and we're not going to spend resources all right sweet there's the next artery. Oh, wow. Even more artillery upgrades. Let's make these artillery hit. Why not? If it's only going to be a two-month research time. And then once we get through why we fight, we'll get up to 63 and 85. We'll be uh, really feeling the good, uh, the goodness out of that. And then we can get down to the technology sharing. Woohoo! Grabbing that extra research slot. And then we'll be ready to take on 1942 in full force. <clears throat> so before we go, let us summarize. Oh man, the communist states of America have lined up their entire force on the Canadian border. Heh. <laughs> Are you justifying against anybody? A lend lease with the UK. Guaranteeing the independence of all of us. Military access to the UK. A non-aggression pact with Romania. Sure, that's fine. Looking at the German Reich. Yeah, German Reich and Italy are solid. Nationalist Spain hasn't joined... Hasn't joined the Axis. It doesn't seem. If they do, that's dangerous. The Allies keep trying to... Uh, to land here in Brabant. Um, yeah. That's going to be a lot of losses. Um, don't know if I agree with that strategy. 
As far as the Soviet Union is concerned, uh, they are in the common turn. Japan is having some difficulty moving across these rivers, it seems. And they are uh, in the greater e East Asian co-prosperity sphere. So they're in the war, but, you know, separate. All right, a free military factory. What do we want to do with our last military factory before we end? Is there something we can do that we're not currently building? I mean, we are kind of building everything we need. I don't know. Do we research mechanized and then pull a line of mechanized over? I'm not sure. Hmm. It's an awful waste to... To, to not use a military factory. Yeah, let's just put it into the close air support. Try to help them out as much as we can. And then we'll shift the, the factories around as need be. Seems like a legitimate strategy. Alright, so we are doing okay getting those close air support guys in. Um, for our fighter wing... If you will focus on air superiority here, please. And run normal operations during the day. All right, so that should be... Yeah, we've got 50 planes providing complete air superiority. That's what I like to see. Yeah, once we get those close air support guys trained up and in the uh, rotation, we'll be feeling a lot better for sure. As far as our air superiority goes. And next time we will see. How far exactly Germany goes. Naval invasion there. Sure. Naval invasion there. Sure. Don't care. That's not my land. So Australia. Ooh. Is making a big push on Japan down here in Indonesia. Dutch East Indies making a push. Yeah, this might work out well for the Allies. They, they sort of got them in a, um, in a pincher. Nice. Keep on keeping on, guys. Yeah, so uh, the world is broken, but our stability is going up. Next time, we should be getting another research slot. And hopefully, we will um, be okay with uh, what we've got. Always improving and uh, doing a whole bunch of research here in a minute. So, yep. Next uh, research slot coming in 10 days. So it's the 25th of February, 1941. We are uh, eight months away from the uh, Pearl Harbor, kind of. We'll see if that happens in this timeline. Nothing else seems to be going to plan, but that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Hearts of Iron 4 video. Take care.